in today's video, we're going to learn a difference between pen tool and pencil tool. So here I am in our painting designer version 2 for desktop. I have prepared this artboard for pen tool and also for pencil tool with some shapes, lines on it already, so we can kind of try to trace those existing shapes and simply test drive those like both tools. If you want this file and kind of walk with me along this tutorial, just follow the link in the description, it's for my Gumroad. Put zero dollars as the price and get it for free. Alright, I hope you are ready, so let's get started on this left artboard for pen tool. I'm going to zoom in a bit with Command Plus. Now hold spacebar to kind of pan the camera around. And here we are. Pen tool, it's over here. Also, P is the shortcut for it. After you select the pen tool, you will see your properties of the pen tool at the top. If you start using pen tool, you will notice that the stroke and the color of the stroke is the most important for us in this very moment. The fill color, not really. If you put some fill color in it, you will get that in between like that because this shape is not closed yet. So now we got closed shape, but that's usually not the goal with the pen tool. So let's delete that whole thing and start over with the pen tool without a fill color this time. Okay, so in case of the pen tool, we are not drawing the line. That's a common misconception. Take a look. I'm not drawing the line. If I press and hold to draw the line, I will go to those control points. And then someone click again and go this curve line instead of the straight line. And they're so confusing and they just quit pen tool in this very moment, switching to pencil tool. And when you grab the pencil tool and move it, all right, that's more like it. Now I'm drawing the line. So cool. I will stick with the pencil tool and never use the pen tool again. <laughs> and that's half of users. So in today's tutorial, we start with the pen tool. It seems like they are both very similar tools. Simply the controls, the way we control them. That's the big difference here. So in pen tool, we are not drawing the line. We are placing points that are connected with the line. So I can place the point here. And then at the end of this line, and I got perfectly straight line here. You can hold shift to be sure that your line is straight. If you press backspace on your keyboard, you will delete that one node, but still the previous one is here. So you are not deleting the whole line. So the pen tool was just fine to make a perfectly straight line. There's even special mode in our pen tool called line mode. If you switch to the line mode, you will be making those lines easily. So that's your line tool hidden inside the pen tool. All right, let's draw the next shape. This time I will use the polygon mode for making straight lines with pen tool. And then I can start over here and trace this shape easily. It's kind of snapping to the shape below so it's even easier than in real life. All right, how about this one? We can still use the polygon mode. Polygon mode is perfect for straight lines. And again, we can go through this. Okay, let's be a bit messy here. I can show you something. Let's say you draw your line like this. It's not perfect, it's not ideal. Remember, we can always grab a node tool. This is this white selection tool. And you can readjust your nodes. That's the magic of vector art. We can always fix it. We are not aiming for this one perfect stroke. We can always move stuff around. We can also select multiple nodes, just like that, and use adjustments to make the distance even align them like that. Take a look. Distance, alignment, apply. And this way you will get a really nice line. Wait a moment, something's not right here. Seems like we end up having curvy line here. If you got those control points for curving the line, those anchors, and you want to get rid of them, you can convert this node into sharp node at the top. 
and other way around you can convert the sharp node into smooth node with those control points for curving the line something we can control here from the top easily all right how about more organic shape like this this would be way easier with the pencil tool but can we do it with pen tool it will be a challenge so i need to start with different mode because i'm in the polygon mode for straight lines so that's not good let's move to the normal mode pen mode and now i will not just click 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 because if you click 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 you are always making straight lines what you need to do right now for more curvy organic lines you need to click and hold it starting from the first node not the second node that's also a common mistake we click the first node and then we start with the second one to curve it don't do that try to curve it straight away with the first node the second one click and hold and adjust the curve this way you can get a more organic line the curvy line not just simply click click and hold and then you got time to adjust this click and hold click and hold as you can see i can make this organic line as well but it's way harder than using a pencil tool so what is the advantage of the pen tool you can decide yourself where you will place the node exactly this little point you got full control of it and sometimes it's really important if you want to draw a perfect shape like this circle it would be almost impossible with pencil tool but with pen tool and some experience you can really do it keep in mind that's mostly for the practice here today because there's a dedicated tool for making ellipse right so let's just try with the pen tool the thing we need to do first is to put a pen node like the curvy one don't start with the sharp node so click and hold then click and hold click and hold click and hold take a look i'm adjusting this curve it's really easy thanks to the full control of the placement for our nodes we are able to make a circle using pen tool did you ever draw a circle using pen tool before take a look now you can try take a look how easy it is so pen tool is not that scary if you understand the difference pencil tool we are drawing the line pen tool you are placing those points that are connected with the line all right we got three more shapes to go three more lines to draw so let's start with this one again press and hold press and hold and that's the whole trick this one is more organic here at the top so i'm going to try to place those nodes like that a bit of chaotic don't be too precise otherwise it will make it too perfect <laughs> all right we got this organic thing spiral and we got only this hard shape left that's a, maybe a challenging shape let's start with like the common approach so we probably want to start somewhere here then we make something like this maybe another one here then i need one more here i guess and here and we got this thing popping up like that that's not good we could use the node tool and change this guy this guy should be sharp so change this guy to be sharp and adjust some angles and we can have even a hard shape using pen tool and there's also another way of doing that we can just have two nodes so if i use the pen tool over here and then i press option i can move one node before i even draw the line i holding option on my keyboard that will be old on windows and then i make one more here very long node press option move it up and we're going to close it like that take a look we draw a hard shape only with two nodes so this is more like a mastery of the pen tool seems like i'm not good enough to do it correctly in the first go but it's possible take a look that's the hard shape with only two nodes when we got the full advantage of the node control all right before we move to the next artboard with the pencil tool 
one more useful trick for you guys. It will be way easier for us if we can kind of see the prediction of the next line. So if you, let's delete this guy here. When you use the pen tool, I highly recommend you to turn on this rubber bending mode here. And this will try to give you the prediction of the next line. So I draw the first node here and then take a look. I got this blue line coming up. So they kind of predicting what, how the line will be. Of course, I can click and change it with the node, next node, but it's going to be really helpful, especially for beginners. So take a look. I got this prediction based on the previous node. That's really helpful. So that's the rubber bending mode at the top. All right, so we are ready. Test our pen tool using this artboard. Let's try to do a similar test for the pencil tool. So I'm switching to the pencil tool. That's the yellow one. Very similar controllers, but we got a few different things like auto close. We can also stabilize it. So let's try without anything. As you can see, I got one, two, three, four nodes here. You may remember with the pen tool, you just place the beginning and the end. That's the thing about pencil tool. In pencil tool, we kind of control the line, but we have no control on the notes. The software try to add notes for us, and usually it's too many, like in this case. Can we fix it? Sure, you can grab a note tool, click on the note you don't want, and simply delete it using delete key on your keyboard. This way you can fix your line. Also, we can turn those notes to the sharp notes. And now we got perfectly straight line. You can also try to draw when you got shift down. And this way you will log yourself into the straight line. So just press the shift. All right, we'll use this shift trick to draw this. We will turn on auto close. This is the close shape. So I'm holding shift. And I draw only one line. Can I start from here? Oops, that's the separate thing. Take a look. We got two separate lines. That's not what I want. You already can see how easy it was with the pen tool, huh? So let's try in one go then. All right, and it's closed the shape for me. So that's nice. And so many <laughs> unnecessary notes here. Now I should go and clean it up. So that's what you are losing when you give up on the pen tool too early, right? Remember how it was, how easy it was with the pen tool? We just click four corners, click, 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 click. So people kind of give up on the pen tool too early. There are two different tools because we can use them in two different ways. So this square was way easier with the pen tool. But I think this next thing was, will be way easier with this pencil tool. Making organic lines like this is so easy, so quick. Done. Unfortunately, I still got my auto close on. So the first node make a straight line to the last one. We could draw it again, but I will just try to show you how we can fix that situation. I can click on that first node and use the action here to break the curve here. And then on the last node, I think it's over there. Let's zoom in a bit. Where's the last node? Over here. And I break the curve again. Same thing. Break curves. All right. And I should be able to take this part out. Take a look. We break it. We open up the shape again. So we can take out this part. Nice. All right. Now pencil tool for this guy. Way more organic, wobbly line. Let's try to fix it by adding some stabilize feature. So let's try again. This time I will turn on stabilize. And now you will kind of feel like you are dragging something behind the pen tool. So the line is a bit smoother because you are kind of dragging it behind. We should end up having less nodes. All right, it's better. Less nodes but still not ideal. Okay, this should be easy with the pen tool. 
Okay, we got less nodes as you can see because we use the stabilize mode all the time now. So we're ending up with a bit with a bit smoother line, I would say. All right, let's try with this shape. And let's keep it open like that. Now with the node tool, how can we close it if you plan to fill it with color? Can we really do that? Take a look. If I put one node at the top of another and both curves snap together and close the shape for me. So that's very, very handy. That's just one shape now that we can fill with color if we want. We can also use some option for smoothing it. So if I click smooth curves, they will keep deleting those nodes automatically for me. And that is very handy when using pe pencil tool. When you cannot control the number of nodes, just clicking smooth button at the top. Take a look, we got less and less until the point that they start actually giving them back. So <laughs> that's the, you know, that program cannot figure out how to optimize it even further. This one maybe. That's all right. I still got too many, so I can keep deleting them manually, just clicking on the node and then delete. So as you can see, we got this wobbly shape with the pen tool. I know some of you now watching me with your super high so vacuum tablet and your years of experience in the fine art and laughing about my wobbly lines. I don't care. <laughs> okay, and the last shape. Pencil tool. And the impossible task. All right, and take a look. Even so close, we didn't close the shape. I didn't use the auto close mode. So it, I still need to kind of close it. All right, and that's our test drive. On the right side, that's the test drive for pencil tool. Pencil tool, we control the line, but cannot control where our nodes place. And opposite. Pen tool, we can control all of the nodes, but the line is draw between them, so we need a bit of more experience to kind of predict how the line will bend. Pen tool is way more powerful, but also way harder to use. I believe you should learn about both tools to get the most of the program because they are used in for like different purpose. Blending and mixing different tools is always the best way to enhance your workflow. Don't stick with only one tool that you feel like comfortable with. All right. I encourage you guys to kind of do a test drive yourself to kind of uncover all of the features behind those two powerful tools. You can download the test drive file from my Gumroad for free. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.